Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another Monday morning mailbag. Get yourself a cup of coffee, kick back, relax. Let's talk a little wet shaving and a few other things. What do you got? I got an old reliable friend here. This is really good coffee. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right out of my Keurig, classic Maxwell House. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, love this coffee. It's just a great, reliable standby. And my coffee mug this morning is one that I got from my recent visit at the thrift store for about a buck. This reminded me of those classic diner type coffee mugs. It's not exactly that. It reminded me of it. And I guess I'm still on the search for one of those classic diner coffee mugs. And I'm hoping that uh, a visit to a thrift store will turn one up, one or two up. And, uh, but I bought a couple of these because it kind of reminded me that. It's just a basic, basic coffee mug. Holds a lot of coffee. Uh, kind of a neat color, something I don't have. So yeah, I figured, well, why not? I hope you too are enjoying a nice cup of coffee with me this morning. Uh, boy, I tell you, the weather here has been kind of crazy. It was last week, it was like 85 degrees and everybody had their, you know, their t-shirts on and, uh, out walking and, uh, nice and sunny. And everyone said, wow, spring is here. And now it's like 45, 48 degrees, something like that. So we've got a little heavier shirt on because of the change in weather. And it's going to go down to about 35, 36 degrees tonight. Kind of crazy. So hopefully it'll start to warm up again. Although I've always said right around the time of my late brother's birthday, which is April 18th, we always get snow. And sure enough, the other day we got a little bit of snow. I mean, we looked out the window and my other brother said, hey, that looks like snow out there. I said, it always snows near Jay's birthday. So uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but here in Northeast Ohio, we always have that one more snowfall. It'll probably, probably be light, but we always have that one more snowfall right after we get this really, really nice warm weather. Always seems to happen right around my brother's birthday. Well, anyhow, got some great content this morning in the Monday Morning Mailbag. So to kick it off, let's start with a shaving tip. Okay, so this morning's shaving tip comes from viewer Jim from Northfield. You might know Jim from Northfield. Very loyal viewer. Uh, he also very generously sent me a couple of razors to review on this channel. And uh, one was a Gillette Fat Boy. I am still floored by that. Thank you very, very much, Jim. And the other was a, um, a Rockwell 6S. Very, very generous. But check out both of those reviews because both of those razors are outstanding. Absolutely outstanding razors. Anyhow, Jim writes, hey, Mark, a good tip that I recommend is a denture brush I purchased from Dollar Tree. It has a nylon head with two sides, one large, one small. The nylon bristles are tough enough to clean your razors, but gentle enough not to scratch. And it's only a dollar. Thanks for your Monday morning mailbag, Jim from Northfield. Thanks very much for that tip, Jim. I'm going to check out my local uh, Dollar Tree store, and I'm going to get a couple of those brushes to uh, clean my razors. I just had to clean uh, one today, and uh, you know what? Uh, that's a great tip. I'm definitely going to look into that. And for a buck, you can't go wrong. So thanks very, very much. To say thanks, here is an original George sketch signed autograph just for you, Jim. So send me your snail mail address. I don't know if I still have it from the last time you sent something to me. So please send it to me at Monday Mailbag at gmail.com, Monday Mailbag at gmail.com. And I will send you this sketch post haste. And if you too would like an original George sketch for your shaving den, all you have to do is send me a shaving tip at mondaymailbag at gmail.com, mondaymailbag at, at gmail.com. And if I use the tip on a Monday morning mailbag, you too can get a sketch for your shaving den. Suitable to frame, to hang, whatever you want to do with it. So thanks again for that tip, Jim. I really do appreciate it. All right, we're up and running this morning. And again, I hope you're enjoying a cup of coffee with me this morning. And speaking of coffee, let's go back for a refill. Okay, this morning's refill comes courtesy of viewer Chris Nelson. And he is commenting on the unscented shaving soap discussion we've been having. 
And he writes, hi, Mark. In reference to the 412-2021 Monday morning mailbag, it was a very interesting video. Looks like a lot of people are interested in unscented soft soap made with limited amounts of chemicals. The Canada Shaving Soap is one to consider. Made from only six ingredients, incredible glide and cushion, and designed for ultra-sensitive skin. It costs $41 for 175 grams, and I believe only available on Amazon.ca. Alexa, how many ounces is 175 grams? 175 grams is about 6.17 ounces. Okay, six, a little over six ounces. Okay, and he's got a link here, and I will link to that uh, as well. So if you're interested in a Canadian-based, unscented shaving soap, might be a very good one to try. I haven't tried it, haven't reviewed it. First, I've heard of it. Thank you very much, Chris Nelson, for passing it on. Again, any of you viewers out there looking for unscented soaps, welcome uh, some leads on that. And also, uh, if you're looking for one, here's another one to try. So thanks very much for that, Chris. Really do appreciate it. Okay, let's check out some new shaving gear. Okay, so this is a feature I was going to be using every so often, but I got a really nice message via Facebook from a viewer named Elizabeth Sanders Jones, uh, Beth Jones. And she alerted me to a brand new razor that's coming on the market from Blackland Razors, B-L-A-C-K-L-A-N-D, Blackland Razors. So she forwarded me the email announcement that she received, and... Uh, it says, introducing the first mass-produced stainless steel 3D printed razor. Welcome to the Blackland era. Let's start with the basics. 100% stainless steel. 100% made in the USA down to the packaging. Metal 3D printed head using the most sophisticated tech in existence. Tolerances as tight as CNC machined razors. Five base plate levels in both open comb and safety bar for a total of 10 base plate options. Perfect edge-to-edge -edge blade clamping, etc. Full razor starts at $75. Expected release in May. Wow, that is really, really exciting. And of course, we've talked about a lot of wet shavers out there. 3D printing their own razors using uh, 3D printing technology and... Uh, plastic material, really exciting stuff happening. And here a company, Blackland Razors, is going to be mass producing a stainless steel 3D printed razor. Wow. Well, we're looking forward to a lot more information uh, coming on this. So I will link the company below so you can check out for yourselves. And thanks very much to Beth Jones for that heads up on that. I really, really do appreciate it, Beth. Thank you again. Okay, so this first question comes from viewer Rick Festa via Facebook. And he writes, hey, Mark, I have a quick question for you. Why rinse after a pass and remove the slickness? Well, that's a great question. And, you know, I guess uh, I'm guilty of doing a lot of rinsing, uh, especially on my videos. And I do this for a number of reasons. I think the first reason uh, is that if um, I don't do enough rinsing and I come back up on camera, uh, there's always that remnant uh, lather that's either in my eyebrows or on my nose or kind of running down the side of my face, and it doesn't look too good. So I try to rinse it all off uh, just to have a pleasing appearance for that next pass. Uh, the next reason is, is if I'm using something that's menthol-based, like the Cube 2.0 or a menthol-based shaving soap, uh, sometimes rinsing, I'll get it in my eye. So I'm doing that extra rinsing to kind of get it out of my eyes. Some of the video reviews I've seen, you, you may have seen, where um, I'm starting to lather up for a, another pass. And I say, wait a minute. And I got to, you know, wipe, wipe my eyes out because I got a little soap in my eyes, whether it's menthol based or not. That's another reason why. Um, also, another reason why is I'm using... Uh, Phoenix Shavings uh, Shave Soaps in Formula CK6. Formula CK6 loves water. And I have found that if I uh, rinse my face and put a little extra water on there, the lather comes back a little more easily without having to dip the brush 
back into the sink bowl where there's some water there. So that's another reason uh, why I kind of rinse my face off uh, a lot. And I think the last reason probably is, is because uh, getting that lather off, getting that slickness off, I can kind of gauge where my shave is to kind of feel it, feel around and see where, where I am in the process, whether I'm going to need that third pass, that sort of thing, uh, or kind of gauge from first pass to second pass. But I think mostly it's just for appearance purposes, uh, make sure I don't look uh, <laughs> silly having a lot of lather on my face when I come back up to address the camera. And um, Formula CK6 loves water. So having that little bit of extra water on my face helps. I mean, I could, I could just do a quick rinse and leave, leave the lather there, leave some of the lather there. And then as I'm building that lather, just dip the brush back into the sink and add water that way. Again, because CK6 really likes water. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. And I think lastly, it's just the way I like to do my shave. I just like that rinsing process. I just, it's part of the process. I really enjoy that. I think going forward, I probably have to cut down in order to, cut down on all that rinsing in order to kind of move the videos along, uh, that sort of thing, maybe do fewer edits, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, I just love the process and uh, doing a lot of rinsing is just part of the process for me. But uh, Rick also adds right here, which brings to mind a shave tip you may want to use. He's got a little bit of a slogan here. This is great. Your face, your rules. I like that a lot, Rick. Your face, your rules. Uh, that's terrific. May I use that uh, going forward in the future? I'll definitely give you credit for it. Thank you very, very much. Remember that. Your face, your rules, you know, because it's your shave. That's fantastic. So thanks very much for the question, for the, uh, question Rick. Really, really do appreciate it. Okay, viewer Federico Viola, all the way from Italy, writes, Hi, Mark. I'm writing to you from Italy. I started shaving my head with an Edwin Jagger DE89, but it's not too quick, and every now and then I have some irritation left behind. Someone recommended the Leaf Razor or Henson Medium to me. What advice can you give me? Well, I've never used the Leaf Razor. A lot of wet shavers just rave about it. They say it's an absolutely wonderful razor, especially for head shaves. So I hope to get one down the road and review it. Um, it really is a terrific, terrific razor. And from what I've seen, whenever I get an email from them, uh, they usually say, hey, back in stock, which means that they must be selling awfully, awfully fast. So if you've not seen the Leaf Razor, it is um, a razor where they have um, little compartments in the razor head for a half blade, a double edge razor blade that you can snap in half and put, put that into each one of these little compartments. So you would have three uh, cutting blades, much like a uh, cartridge razor, but you're using half of a DE edge, DE razor blade. So that is really a neat kind of approach, kind of kind of the spirit of a, a single edge razor, uh, double edge razor, uh, and with the ease of use um, of a cartridge razor. So, you know, really kind of a neat approach. And again, I'm, I'm very much interested in getting one down the road and reviewing it. When that will happen, I'm not entirely sure. Now, regarding the Henson razors, I have the mild and I also have the medium. Um, I can tell you the mild is absolutely wonderful for head shaves. I use it for head shaves quite often and I like it a lot. It's absolutely a terrific, terrific razor, not only for head shaves, but also for face shaves. I like the fact that this 30 degree angle is built right into the T-shaped razor head. That is just terrific. And the mild for me is great for everyday use. I like it a lot. The medium, I think, is far too aggressive for me for a face shave. It would be good for, say, three days growth, to take down three days growth. Uh, but it's certainly not one that I would use every single day. Now, I advise you to go to the Henson uh, website, look at their product page, and read what they have to say about the medium and the mild and how they compare to other razors uh, when it comes to level of aggression. Because of the, uh, the design of the razor head, uh, you really can't uh, gauge it 
uh, against some of the uh, traditional double edge razors out there. But uh, the medium, uh, you know, uh, very, very efficient, a little too aggressive for me, uh, something that I cannot use every single day. So I do not use this for a head shave. But the mild, the mild version, absolutely use it every day for uh, face shaves. And it does a wonderful job for head shaves for me. Obviously, with both of these razors, your mileage may vary. But for me, the mild has just been a winner. And uh, it is just precisely CNC machined, uh, machined out of aircraft aluminum, uh, lightweight. So it has kind of a different feel. But boy, is it efficient. Is it smooth? Is it mild? And it does a wonderful job for both face shaves and head shaves for me. So that's all I can tell you regarding that, um, Federico. I hope that helps you somewhat. And, um, you know, when I do a, when I get a leaf shave, when I get a leaf razor, I will definitely, definitely review it here first thing. So, um, yeah, I'm keeping my options open for that and hopefully I'll get one down the road. So, uh, thanks very much for that question, Federico. Uh, I hope it has helped you in some way. Okay. So this next comment comes from a viewer named D Willoughby, and he is writing in regards to head shaves. And he says, I have tried a double-edged razor a number of times for my head shaves, but still find that a cartridge razor seems to work the best. Well, I use both double-edged razors and cartridge razors. And uh, I prefer a double-edged razor. Although the main difference for me is the time element. Cartridge razor is faster. Uh, double-edged razor takes a little more time. And obviously takes a little more finesse because you're, you have to vary that angle a little bit as you're moving along uh, your head because the contours and the shape of the head, that sort of thing. Now, uh, I did try last week uh, using a cartridge razor in the shower, thinking, wow, let's see how much time I can save with that. You know, the first time around, I used the uh, Defender cartridge razor. This is a terrific cartridge razor for a head shave. Uh, doesn't clog at all because of the spacing of the uh, blades and the cartridge head. And I used this in the shower. And what I did was I got some of the Trader Joe's moisturizing uh, cream shave and honey mango and just slathered that up there and just went to town. And you know what? I got a great, great head shave. Then I decided to do it two days in a row. And uh, you know what? I came away with some razor burn on top <laughs> and used this razor and this and uh, I guess I was just overzealous, didn't have as much protection up there, doing it in the shower, thinking, oh, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, I think I was um, lulled into a false sense of security, so to speak. Maybe the shower head uh, took away some of that slickness, and I went over with the, uh, the cartridge and ended up with a little bit of razor burn up there. I don't know. But uh, I thought I'd try it, and I think the uh, bottom line for me is, is that uh, I'm best served by doing a head shave every other day or every third day. And I know I'm, I'm due for another one right now. I think it's going to be, uh, this will be, I think I'm on day number three, so I'm definitely going to need one. Uh, so every other day is when I should do a head shave. Every day is probably pushing it a little too much for me. And... Um, I would think that um, the double-edged razor gives me a wonderful result, but I have to invest a little more time, uh, have a little more finesse, use a light touch, that sort of thing. And um, that's really the main difference for me. Now, if you're using a cartridge razor and you're getting great results, you know, that, that, that's fine. But I would encourage you to go back and, you know, give a double-edged razor for a head shave uh, a try again. Uh, like me, maybe you need a milder razor. Uh, so go with something that's a little milder. Uh, I have plenty of reviews on this channel using mild razors uh, for head shaves. I've tried to go aggressive. It's resulted in some mishaps. Uh, I get some nicks, and I just cannot use an overly aggressive razor for a head shave. But I would encourage you, try a milder razor and use a light touch and take your time. It's probably, my guess is it might be an element, an element of time. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, maybe that uh, your schedule doesn't really permit you to do, uh, you know, have that extra time for a head shave. Sometimes that happens even with face shaves. Um, you know, just give it a try. 
but you know, give yourself that added time to do it. Um, evenings are great. I, I do head shaves in the evening, you know, before I turn in, I'll do a, a head shave. It's a great feeling and uh, I'll just take my time. And that's really the bottom line. And yeah, there are times when, uh, you know, I have to be someplace or whatever, even in the shower. That's why I tried doing it in the shower. I don't think I'm going to be doing it in the shower again because, again, I there's that element of control. I need to take time. I need to look in a mirror. I need to see what's going on, that sort of thing. In the shower, I'm flying a little too blindly. So um, I'm going to continue to use uh, both cartridge and DE razors for my head shaves, more so DE razors, and uh, do it out of the shower and uh, you know, take my time and just enjoy the process. I would recommend you to you know, do the same. Take your time, enjoy the process. Give the DE razor a try. You don't have to abandon. You don't have to abandon a cartridge razor if it's working well for you. Uh, you know what? Um, you know, just try try different things. See which see which works best for you. For me, it's a DE razor, and sometimes a cartridge razor is a little more convenient. So thanks very much for that, D Willoughby. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so this next comment comes from a viewer named James. And James writes, good morning, Mark. James up here in Milton. Hope you're keeping well as I haven't emailed you in a few weeks. Always looking forward to the Monday morning coffee hour. Keep up the excellent work, my friend. Thanks very much for that, James. I really do appreciate it. He continues, I just wanted to share a review with you on G.F. Trumper's Shave Soap. I recently treated myself to G.F. Trumper's Sandalwood Shaving Soap, complete with a nice wooden bowl. Fantastic sandalwood scent, but an absolutely disappointing lather. Once you finish shaving one side of your face, the soap on the other side has literally disappeared. Have you had any other comments regarding this soap? I used a boar brush. Would a badger brush make any difference? I think I just wasted $40. Just thought I might share this with you and maybe your viewers. Regards and stay safe, James. James, uh, I've not tried GF Trumper's Shave Soap, and I would invite the viewers to comment on this to see if their experience was similar to yours. Uh, I know I have used, the, uh, used and reviewed the Granado Shave Soap from Brazil, and this is what it looks like. It's just like a bar of soap like this. And I just get my synthetic shaving brush and just work that on there and do a face lather. And it was a very light and frothy uh, lather. Not at all thick, rich, and creamy, which is what I was expecting. But it had some really, really terrific, terrific slickness. Really nice slickness. So I'm wondering if this GF Trumpers gave you some nice slickness. A lot of shaving soaps and some shave shaving creams out there that are light, lighter and frothier tend to be slicker. They have a really nice slickness to them. So I'm wondering if that's what the GF Trumper has. And if it has more slickness, but less uh, of a rich, thick, creamy kind of a lather. That's what, uh, that's what my question would be to you because you haven't mentioned that uh, in your, uh, your email here. So I'm not sure. I'll put it out to the viewers to see if they are, uh, if they've had that experience. I know with the uh, Granado shave soap, uh, synthetic brushes seem to work best for me in creating a lather with a lot of different soaps. And a synthetic brush really didn't have much effect on this. And there were some viewers from Brazil who confirmed that by saying, nah, it's not going to give you a rich, thick, creamy lather. It's just going to be light and frothy, but slick. Uh, even with a synthetic brush, I found. So um, I would say maybe try a synthetic brush and see if that helps. But I tend to think it's probably in the same category as Granado, just a guess on my part. But uh, maybe some of the viewers out there have some other feedback that uh, would be helpful to you. So thanks very much for that. I really do appreciate it. I'll look into it. I hope viewers will look into it and maybe comment. Uh, if I come across a deal on GF Trumpers, I might give it a try and review it. We'll see what happens. So thanks very much for that, James. I really do appreciate it. Well, okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook, 
Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Serrati where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize. You can find everything in a snap very easily. I'll leave you with this laugh. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Make it a great week.